hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to the family if you've already subscribed to my channel and you're back here to watch my videos i'd like to say a very big thank you to you all to my new subscribers you are welcome to the channel and on my channel i post every wednesdays and, and sundays but i've been so inconsistent that I am not reaching thousand subscribers so right now that i'm back i'll be posting any day anytime and i know you guys will watch it i know that is why i'm doing it so you're welcome to the channel well in today's video i am going to make a video for my international student well it cannot it applies to those who are domestic students i mean those who are already in ghana here and want to go to the university this applies to you but if you're an international student this video is specifically for you all right so make sure you watch to the end because i have a surprise for you at the end of the video so let's get straight into the video but wait wait before i start i'll, I'll just give you like two seconds to just subscribe and like and comment let me know where you're watching me from and some of the videos you want to see on my channel okay so yes please subscribe i'm waiting thank you all right let's get straight into the video all right um in today's video uh, you already know so how to survive as an international student like i said even if you're a domestic student i mean if you study in ghana you can this is also useful for you but if you're an international student please watch this video to the end to survive in ghana is not easy you know right now ghana is expensive living in ghana is not for the faint-hearted so if you're in ghana you are rich okay all right like i always say i'm not here to scare anyone but we are facing reality here this is what is happening and if you watch this video to the end when you come to ghana and you start studying you know, you're already in ghana and you're planning on going to the university please this is useful the first thing you should know is the kind of university you're picking do you want a private school or a government school or public school the same thing okay so you know private universities are super expensive i went to a private university and it is expensive all right but that doesn't mean you can't go you can also go to a private university but surviving in private university also it's for if you have the heart okay and if the kudi too is there because it's not easy well whether you are in a private school whether i want to go to a private school whether i want to go to a government school i still want to tell you that know the university you are picking okay if it's private university their investors, I hate to say this, I hate to say they're affordable. To be honest, there's nothing like affordable though. The fact that I can pay something doesn't mean it's affordable, all right? Someone can't pay and the person will consider it not to be affordable. So just pick a school that it's within your range that you think mommy and daddy can um, can afford. Okay, so make sure that the school is let's still use it affordable, okay? Yes, whether public or government, they are public school that a little bit expensive other studio are okay for you so check all those things and the cost too is really really necessary but check the tuition of every university that offers your course because there are lots of universities here in ghana that offers like every 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 course you'll get it in any university all right so make sure that you get you know the tuition so that you won't be stuck when you go to that university all right again after after the after checking the tuition and you think oh it's okay then the accommodation hey accra not only accra kumasi cape coast Accra. the ex living expenses is really really high if you do not get to your house and you want to rent a hostel or an apartment that one today but it is very it, it's, it's also not easy so make sure that you check the price of the accommodation if you're going to school in legon you and maybe you don't you don't even you don't get your hall or you don't want the hall and you want a hostel make sure you budget and make sure that you get um an affordable accommodation affordable apartment because i remember i rent i i was in a one room it was it wasn't it was a hostel yes and it was like three thousand five hundred somewhere i think two three years ago it was somewhere three thousand five hundred but i think right now it's higher or maybe lower depending on where you will be schooling there's some areas in accra and kumasi takradi cape coast that are really expensive okay so make sure you check all those things because it is really really important we because we are we are going to survive at the university so we don't want to you know get ourselves into something that will be so tight or it will be very difficult to to get money to even buy food to eat okay so please check out some of the affordable places to live in accra kumasi takradi and know 
the the and know what you want whether you want one room you want two bedroom you want three you want four check those things they're affordable ones and they're expensive ones depending on your money like i said we are surviving so we will we will we will, we will look for apartments that are less expensive or apartment that we can pay all right let's go to the next one to survive in accra as an international student sorry so to, to survive to survive in ghana as an international student you also need you know one thing let me see one thing that it's i think it's very i need an english for it uh oh god the english is not coming but i think as an as an international student when you come you'll be like oh should i even cook or i should buy food sometimes when i was in the university i was like oh when i cook is it expensive or it's better for me to just buy food but to be very to be very honest with you cooking is cooking is the best because let's say if you have like 200 ghana cities if you have 200 ghana cities you'll be able to buy some few groceries and then you know cook something for a week but if you if you, that 200 cities if you want to buy food within two days it will just finish okay so please if you're an international student and you're coming to study in ghana or if you're a domestic student meaning if you're already in ghana and you're going to the university make sure that you buy a lot of food stuffs okay that can sustain you for months I'm not saying that doesn't mean you 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 can't buy food, you can't buy your indomies, your fried rice. No, you can, but at least it will save you a lot of money. Okay, so if you have food stuff, they can cook for like a week, depending on your schedule. So you can cook for like a week, and then keep the rest of the money. So that maybe you have food in the fridge for a week. Maybe Wednesday you don't feel like eating any of the food. You can go and buy your um, indomie for twenty cities just that day, and then you're good to go. The following day you go back to your food, and then you save the rest of the money okay so please i always choose cooking over buying food every single day breakfast lunch and supper okay it's better for you to cook and i think one last thing i talk about no no one last thing i think one last but one yes so see it is not everywhere especially the level hundreds you know they always want to show that yeah we are in school we are going here we are going to this place we are going to this place if you're not invited don't go even if you're invited sometimes you shouldn't go all right, sometimes I know you want to pepper your 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 mates who didn't go to school that year, but guess what? They also go to school the following year. I know sometimes they want to pepper them so they are here, they are here. See that? Okay, it is not every way. Like, okay, fine, you need to chill, you need to socialize, but it's not every day. Because going, you pick your Uber, you eat, you will drink, like just just try and see so it's not everywhere that you must go as 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 an international student who is who always in is, is in a new country no knows nobody and is coming to hustle both learning is also a hustle <laughs> okay so it's not everywhere that you should go yes you should chill you need to socialize but you need to know your limits you need to know that i need to also save this kind of money okay so it's not everywhere you need to go but chill all right chill and save chill you save you chill you save and learn okay and then the last thing is if you are bye bye you buy everything you buy this cloth you buy this this see hey every day we post on your status that hey she invested had no money no money no money see i know there's everyone that do a lot of buying 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 but the money just finished because of pamphlets books and all that that one too is there but i'm talking about those that i'll buy clothes i'll buy shoes i'll buy this i'm not saying don't buy is buy but it's not everything that you have to buy okay some clothes can even last you for like a whole semester some clothes i'm not saying all some clothes you yourself you know that some clothes can last for a whole semester but you every two months you want to change your wardrobe hey hey you don't know where you're coming from eh? <laughs> so make sure that you save when it comes to buying as for the university when you go there are a lot of things for you to buy there are a lot of things that you see every single day and you think you'd want it but no you don't want it remember coming from somewhere okay so you need to save these are some of the things that if you are able to follow trust me trust me trust me you'll be able to save some money you're able to survive in wherever you find yourself in any region you find yourself especially in Accra but trust me wherever you find yourself every region any region you find yourself in Ghana as an international student please make sure that your choice of school count your accommodation make sure that you do not rent uh, don't, don't let any agent give you a nice apartment and then bill you so much okay you can find a cool place which is not so fancy but at least it's affordable all right and again it's not everything that you have to buy it's not everywhere that you have to go it's not every chilling that you have to chill 
okay so this is where i'll leave my my this is where i'll end my video but the comment section is for you make sure that you ask any of the questions because there are lots of graduates on my channel they will answer you okay so please make sure that you you, you let us know what you, what you want to know coming as an international student let us know some of the things that you want to know in ghana and we will assist you in the comment section okay you love Ghana when you come to Ghana to study. Ghana is a very beautiful place to study. And I will urge anyone watching me from any part of the country, any part of the world, that if you want to study outside your home country, Ghana is the best place. I have, I have videos on some of the universities here in Ghana on my channel. I'll leave the link in the description box for you. Check them out and apply. And you will get it and you will love it. There are a lot of courses as well. Thank you so much for watching my video today. And I will be back with another video. But make sure to subscribe, like, comment, give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. I said I have a surprise for you at the end, right? Yes, the, sur the surprises. I love you so much. And enjoy your day. Mwah.